characteristics of southern warm slope sides. Oh, now here's a stone wall. Possible shrub chestnut remnants. Maybe beach pine. I suspect chestnut. Sun dappled day. Thoughts about seeing water light, I think, were premature, perhaps, hallucination. Huh. Now, this is a section that's blocked out. <coughs> Oh yeah, there's the whole pond thing that I keep yapping about. Look at that. No open space system is complete without some kind of lily pad loaded pond. So the mosquitoes have a more interesting place to hang out and ducks to keep them company. It's more just, a f the f little 50 isn't really a macro. I have, you and I both have macro stuff. I just haven't really bothered to use it much yet. Because right. my point and shoot covers those functions well enough right. for now. But I have noticed, oh, there's a bullfrog doing its jug a rum thing. <laughs> They're great. Uh, but I have noticed that uh, the T3 stills are far more robust than the point and shoot, although the point and shoot are much better than the last one I had. Uh -huh. So all in all... Yeah, this thing can take some nice ones. 
the, uh, the nicest sunset I ever saw was taken at one of these levels. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they're killer. And the thing is, um, I think for the type of thing that I'm doing, making content, uh -huh. to have this combination of the three is perfect. Because oh, yeah. there's stuff that the 50 lens sucks at, right. and there's, and, but yet it's great at other things. So we're almost out of here, listening to the pond, frogs of Holt Pond. They're gorgeous. That's what I'm saying. You try that setting. Yeah. Really? No, I have. Uh, it's just the thing doesn't really work that well for close-up stuff. It has its and it has its rules, but if you work within them, there it's amazing. It, it's a kind of as one Google Plus photographer I ran across said, it's you know by giving yourself the thing as a limit. If, it brings out a whole interesting array of things you can work on. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that the, the lens is beloved among Canon users. The people just crowed about it so much that when I was figuring out what stuff to get, I had to grab a nifty 50. <laughs> I mean, it even has its own affectionate nickname. For God's sakes, you know how much. I mean, why is that so much better than the standard? I want to. I don't know, but it has its adherence, and I do enjoy the thing. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. We're up at the Cool Bridge. <coughs> We've been here before. way to the Charles, or whatever drainage it likes, most likely the Charles. There's the pond. There's this thing. So here we are at Holt Pond. Arrow heads out there waving in the wind. We're in the home stretch of this mighty adventure examining this brand new trail realignment for the Bay Circuit Trail here in splendid Medfield, Massachusetts. Oh, look at that stonework, interesting. <laughs> this must, you know what this was? This is probably an old mill race. Yeah. This was a, the site of an old oh, yeah, weird mill. Yeah, it would be. You know what I mean? Because I found some other formations that look like barn foundations. But this is an old mill, I bet you. Yeah, yeah you know, yep. cool. Same thing, a 500 millimeter lens. But I, I don't know if that is, that would probably be better. But I don't well, know. Here we are, are. yeah. Sell it? No, I don't know. You get rid of it, you get deep it. And so we finally bid adieu to the Shattuck Reservation and the Bay Circuit Trail. There's the glimmering of Holt Pond, sun dancing on the ripples of the wind-blown water, sparkly and all. We came from that way, which will eventually take you to Newburyport if you're patient enough and willing to walk for several days. And here's the parking lot for the Shattuck Reservation and Noon Hill, which is kind of across the street. <laughs> <laughs>